Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. Last video I was did like a how to add a teachers, edit teachers, and like a delete teachers and filter teachers. Everything we can do in last few videos. So in this video I will explain. We can log in the teacher account. Now after teacher can edit is the information. So we like click on the edits. So this is the all the information teacher can edit. So we need to change his profile page. So we need to change current address, permanent address. So teacher can do it. So first of all we need to log in teacher's account. So let's edit and I can change this password because I don't remember what is the password. So I edit for these teachers. I add a one two three four five six and I click on the updates. Okay, so I log out and now I log in for this teacher's account. So I already copy the email address. And I put one, two, three, four, five, six, and I click on the sign in. So this is the teachers panel. This is the dashboard, but we are not dynamic, just only static dashboard like HTML. After we can make this the dynamics. Okay. So here we have already done before like change password. Now we can create here another menu, my account. So he click on the my account. So he can show in the here my accounts, and after he can show here. As a form, like uh, you need to update first name, last name, everything. So let's start now. So just go to your course, resources, views, layouts. Inside you need to go headers, and uh, just wait few seconds. Okay, I make a zoom out. So I go down now. So you can see it here. One means the admins. Okay, so two means the teachers. Okay, just I copy. Means let's copy like anything other. I copy and I can put here. Okay, I change to name my account. So here I can change. This is the student accounts, but I need to do inside teacher account. Three students, two means the teachers. So teachers. Here I can make like a account. I do so teachers accounts and second also you can make like a account because we need to add a active class. Okay, let's go back again and refresh the page. So you can see here we have created another menu like a my accounts. I click on the my accounts. So not found because we have not created routes. So let's create now routes. I go to routes instead go to web and uh, this is the admin parts. So I'm going to do here. This is the ticket part. So I can create here. So let's make here. Copy and I put here. And we already there user controller. So we are maintaining inside everything. So here I can type my account. Whatever is my account, you can type whatever do you want to like. You can type. So you can follow my series. So please type my account. So it's good for you. So you can understand easily. I open user controller. So you can see it here. User controller. And let's copy like uh, change password. So you can do it here. Change password. I can copy and put here. Let's put down. Let's put up. Okay. And I change to my account. So here we can pass like this. Like we can use like if else condition. But right now only I am doing the teachers. So right now I am not using anything. Otherwise, we can do same part wise. So we need to add a like a if user type is equal to one, two, or three. So it's going to part wise. So right now we need we not we don't do just we need to use directly. So here is the teachers dot teachers dot dashboard. So I can type like here my account. Okay, so I create now pages. So that would like so just need to go inside layer dot php so you can see it let's refresh the base so you can see it okay now blank page because page is found okay now you need to go admin side after you need to go like uh, as teachers inside you need to go edit and just copy all thing and put here okay and after you need to create like get records variables like here so the data get records users get singles auth you can pass here id so 
we have already created get single function before so i can show you go to users insights so you can see it here functions like a get user so we can get a for this user information in authentication inside we can get a whatever user login we get a here id okay so let's refresh the page again i can refresh the page so you can see it like all the information found about the list teacher because we don't need any information we can remove it okay so let's start so first of all we need to change here my account i go back again i refresh Oh, so, so I change a like wrong place. I just close these files. I go up and I can change here in my account. I go up again and I refresh the page. So you can see it here my account. Also, we don't need a like a password. So just remove the password because we already created a change password here. Okay, so let's go back again and remove the passwords. Okay, here you can change to updates. Okay, it's already there. So no need to do. So you can see it is everything is my account is good now. Like first name, last name, gender, date of birth, date of joining. And I think this is the also no need because date of joining only can add it. So let's remove your date of joinings. Okay, so just removing now this is the needs current address need profile pick you can need permanent address qualification work experience not suppose you need to not you also no need because not only admin can write what you need to write here so not remove and also you don't need a status so you can do the status also so just remove the status let's go back again and refresh the page so you can see work experience permanent address qualifications I think this is the all fit he need. He need to change his email address so he can change his email address. Okay, so let's show you one by one. First of all, we already declare layout apps. After we have changed to title my accounts. Here you can see it like a uh, one function, and here is showing the form. Okay, now here you can see first name, last name. Here you gender with auto fill. Okay, I think now you can see it, mobile number, date of birth, status. Profile pic, current address, permit address, qualification, work experience, and emails. You can see it, everything. So I save now. I go back again. Now showing proper way like a my accounts. So let's I will click on the update function means update button. So we need to save all the information in database means we need to update the, all the information for his account like a user account inside. So let's open one minute. So you can see it here. Like suppose this is the teacher I log, whatever teacher I log in, this is the information we need to update. Suppose I log, log in for these teachers, so we need to update for this row. So first of all, we need to create a, like a one route. So here I have type like blank. So same thing, just copy and put bottom, just change to get to code and you can type here update my account. update my account i have created a function update my account i just put here functions update my account here you can pass like request dollar okay let's show you what what information i get here so i print all the information i go to win and i will refresh the page and i will click on the update button so you can see it, everything information I found like name, last name, gender, date of birth, mobile number, status, address, permanent address, qualification, work experience and emails. So this is the information I need to save inside database for this user. Okay. So just you need to go HTTP, inside you need to go admin controller and you need to go just down, not admin controller, sorry, just need to go teacher controller, teacher controller inside you need to go down, like just copy update code, all update codes and copy and paste inside user controller now we don't need this information we can remove here like a just like id id means is equal to or user id so first of all here is the email validations next one you can see it like the teachers name last name gender date of birth admission date we need to remove because date of joining we are not using now anymore now also we can remove the status we don't need status 
and start view also download. Okay, and now just remove this is the URLs and check that here back and you can change the name my account is being updated. I think now is clear. So let's see name, genders, date of birth, profile pic, address, mobile number, permanent address, qualification, work experience, not also we don't need, just remove the notes. I think now is good. So let's back again, refresh the page and try to save. I think the error because we have created post method. Okay, no error. So let's see what the error you can told me. Request. Okay, because I have not added semicolon here. So I will add semicolon. I back to refresh again. Okay, let's try. Let's I make like one. I click on the updates. So update working very well, but not showing here message like I account successfully updated. So we need to show here message. And suppose I can add like this email like admin at the red gmail.com. So he is showing the errors. So I can show you. You see, the email address already has been taken because we have write already here code. Like validation, unique users, emails, and dollar ID means your email possible to update, but other email already there inside database. So we need to check first. And suppose the validation condition is true, so he can update. Otherwise, validation condition is not true, so he can't update. So same thing, just refresh the page, and I can do like updates. So working very well. No issue. Date of birth also working. Let's try now. I can change 24. I click on the update buttons. So it's working very well. Let's show your messages because without messages we can't understand the update, not update. So let's back again code. Let's go to teacher list and just you need to copy include message because this is the message file I already created here so you can see it here for messages like success, error, payment, error, warning, info, secondary, primary and likes. So you can use it any message. Okay? I just copy, I go to teacher inside my account and I like to put where I can put, um, let's put here. Um, we can check how it looks show okay i will save the page and i click on the updates so is the accounts really updated look like very nice so you can see it like everything is clear and my account also update work so i can show you again codes like my account so you can see it do you want to copy so you can also read and do it easily okay and also i can show you here user controllers instead you can make it like a my account and you can make it here like a update course and also we have created two routes for the teacher update and here header inside we have added like a my account man okay so in this video i have explained how to do how to create means how to create a menu in my account after what information do you want to update in teacher side this is the information i have updated because is a we have already done admin side this is not just a copy paste code here so we can do it quickly next video i will do for the student side student can update his information so he can update and after we can do like parent also he can update his profile information so also he can update so thank you for watching and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching